under the 28% bracket, sir. Uh, your uh, first reaction now to what has been announced by the government in terms of the GST rate finalization? Uh, there is. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for speaking to me. Um, I do not think there was any surprise element at all. We, all along, I have been saying that it is going to fall under 28 percent, and uh, the industry was making up uh, its mind for coping with that. It it it, it pushes up the price by some two and a half to three percent or so. And uh, okay. my plea always has been inverter air conditioners and five-star air conditioners which consume much lesser energy they, you can save more than 40 percent energy therefore that should be mm. notified under 18 percent uh, right from mr pranav mugaji's uh, days as finance minister when gst comes we will look into that was the um, advice that was given to us but uh, it has mm. not happened. It would have been revenue neutral if they would have done so. The country would have benefited. Secondly, importantly, I have been making is that when bars, mm. uh, restaurants, cinema theatres uh, and uh, such places are air-conditioned coffee shops, it is very important that we yeah. get the educational institutions and hospitals air-conditioned where the penetration is less than 0.1%. And therefore, these mm. two categories, air conditioners, could have been kept at 5%. So it has not happened. That okay. is a disappointment. Having said this, we will cope with this. Uh, I think over a period of time, in the long run, we will be able to absorb that 1%, 2%, But immediately, there will be a price impact or margin impact, which the competition will decide. As far as Blue Star okay. is concerned, so, we wanted one clarification mm. on Jammu being a hilly state. We have been promised that there will be a concession. So uh, my project is on hold there. We will take a decision as soon okay. as we get clarity on the same. Yes, we are still waiting for clarity from state governments on what happens to these uh, state-based exemptions. But Mr. Thayagarajan, you said that there will be a price impact as well as a margin impact. Uh, can you Have you been able to do any back-of-the-envelope calculation on what the impact could be? Uh, I, I meant whether we should increase the price by 2% or absorb that 2%. The competition will determine that. If the competitors ah, okay. all decide to, and the summer has been good, and the transition is going to happen in the month of June, first job is to take the calculation on the transitory loss, if any. Uh, that clarity mm -hmm. also is not there. What happens to the dealer goods, what happens to the components lying in the factory, etc. Mm -hmm. As soon as this clarity so is there... Prepared? How prepared is your supply chain, sir, for a 1st of July rollout? Because, uh, and we'll just play that out again, uh, uh, the Minister of State for Finance very categorically stating July 1 it is going to be. How ready are you for a 1st of July rollout? We have been ready for, uh, you know, we were prepared that if it is going to happen as of 1st of April, and we, if it is going to happen on 1st of July, we will be very well ready. But having said that... Okay. Yes, Mr. Thanks, Mr. Tiagrajan.